start out by using a centering tool on our drill press. We're using a magnetic drill press here for the installation. We've taped off all of the openings on this engine. This is an assembled engine, and uh, so we don't want to get any metal shavings into the crankcase or down into the cylinders. So we've taped everything off and secured it. This particular D9 block has Z sleeves install installed in the counter bores. So we've installed a clamping mechanism across the top of the, the liner to hold down the, the Z sleeve and hold everything tight while we do the installation. The first step is to just simply drill out the hole to depth, uh, making it deep enough to accept the insert. In this case, the bottom of the bolt hole is gone, so we're just going to drill all the way down through to where we have a clean bore deep enough to accept the insert. The insert is manufactured to match the original bolt hole, so it will have a counter bore or a non-threaded section in the upper part of the insert that it matches the original bolt hole uh, geometry. So in other words, if you look in this bolt hole once it's completed, you won't even be able to tell that it's there. It uses the same studs, same everything, so there is nothing unusual about this hole. The really good thing about this process is that where the bolt hole is intersecting the Z sleeve will have a perfect watertight seal. This is a method that you can use on these, these blocks that have the Z sleeve in them to seal the head bolt holes. The original design of the Z sleeve is to use O-rings and sealers and things to keep water from leaking underneath the Z sleeve into the head bolt hole and then it climbs up the head bolt hole and it gets into the oil. But with the insert installed, that can't happen. So not only is this a good repair for repairing this blowout in the bottom of the hole, but it's also a good way to repair the uh, Z sleeves and make them uh, stronger, give them more support, and to seal the bolt hole from the water. We tap the, uh, the block using the roughing tap first, and then we use the finishing tap. We're taking it down close to the bottom and bringing it to the bottom with a ratchet just so we don't jam the tap into the bottom of the hole. We'll use the drill press to, to back it back out again. When we install the finishing tap, we want to actually start the threads to get them lined up properly, so screw them in with your fingers, a couple of threads, put some lubricant on it, and then tap the hole uh, with the drill uh, down to close to the bottom of the hole, and then we'll finish that again with the ratchet just to make sure that we don't uh, power tap against the bottom of the hole. This uh, drilling machine does not have a clutch, so we have to be careful not to jam the tap into the bottom of the hole and, and chance of breaking the tap. So now we're going to simply back the tap out of the, out of the hole, and that will complete the tapping process. Because this hole is going clear into the water jacket, we want to pull as much of the shavings out of that water jacket that, that, as we can that are, that are trapped around the, uh, the bottom of the water jacket there. So using a magnet is a good way to, to reach in and pull shavings and chips uh, out of that area. So wash the hole out real good, clean it out, blow it out real good, get a nice clean dry hole. Let me take the thread insert and install the installation stud and washer onto the stud. In this case, we're just going to turn it down in by hand just to make sure everything fits right and it goes down like it should. Get it down into the, into the hole and we're going to back that stud out and put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads of the installation stud and then screw the new thread replacement insert onto the installation tool. Now we're going to put some thread sealant, we use the 724 uh, thread sealant in the hole and just simply screw that assembly down into the hole. The installation washer is bigger than the stud so it's going to register against the surface of the block and bring everything flush. We start out and we tighten that, that insert in flush against the, the surface so that the washer is, is right flush against the surface. Now we use two wrenches 
to uh, back off the nut. You want to hold the stud and then release the nut. Now we take the nut off and now we have to set the depth for the locking pin. So we're setting the protrusion through the washer to match the, the length of the locking pin. There is a drill tube which goes over the drill bit and then as you use it as a spacer to set your depth you will end up with the proper protrusion through the washer. And now we simply locate the, um, the, the washer to, where, to the exact spot where we want the uh, locking pin to be when we're finished. And we blow it all off, remove the installation stud. We'll put one drop of thread locker into the hole for the locking pin and install the locking pin down into the hole. This will prevent that insert from ever wanting to come out uh, uh, next time the, the stud is removed. This completes the repair. Uh, the Z-sleeve is sealed, the threads are reestablished, the bottom of the hole is sealed, and the repair is complete.